This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and before I continue my Mac Pro series, which I am in the process of working on episode 16 as we speak, I thought I would cover where my name came from. The mods in Rotke Mods wasn't from me modifying devices, but modifying Windows installs. I haven't always been a Mac guy. In fact, I'm still technically not a Mac guy. In fact, my first working Mac I bought was back in around March of 2015. I'm still mostly using PCs. I've been working with Windows since Windows 3.11 for work groups when I was really young, probably about two years old, maybe. I'm 24 now. I really started getting into working on Windows around the time Windows 95 came out. And by the time I got rid of my Windows 95 computer, years later, I knew it inside and out. And around Windows XP, I started modifying Windows. I did custom themes and just did what I could do to make even the oldest computer run Windows XP with no problems. Well, I am still continuing doing that. Right here, we have a Gateway E2100. It's a office desktop from around circa late 2003, and I modified it with a board from a Gateway 510X, which was from early 2004. It's the same board, but a different revision, which allowed you to run Prescott hyper-threaded Pentium 4s. That's the only difference for the board. So they swapped in very nicely. As you can see here, this is the hardware. We've got a socket 478 Prescott Pentium 4 and a GeForce FX 5200. Both actually were from a gateway computer. In fact, all the parts in this computer were from gateway computers from that time period, around late 2003 through early 2004. But as you can see here, it is running Windows 8 Professional, and all 478 socket Pentium 4s cannot run Windows 8.1 Professional natively. As you can see here, it says no NX bit Windows 8.1 Pro install. The reason why they can't run 8.1 natively is because there's no NX bit in the CPU, which is a requirement for all new Windows. Now, in the future, I will be doing a video how to install Windows 8.1 on an unsupported PC. Basically, it has to be a Pentium 4, though. And I know there has been many videos on this, but I found a way which is a lot quicker and a lot easier to do and doesn't require changing anything or making permissions. So yes, that's how the name came from. It wasn't from modifying devices. The mods in Rutke Mods came from modding Windows. And of course now we are more than just a Windows modder. We install Windows, we install OS X, we modify PCs, we modify Macs, we repair them, we do everything we can and we also of course modify devices, repair devices, do game consoles and whatnot. But I just wanted to cover where my name originated from and show you a proof of concept that even a Pentium 4 without an NX bit can run Windows 8.1. But of course, currently we cannot run Windows 10 because the kernels have changed and the encryptions have changed. If there is ever a hack for it, I will also make a video on that. Anyway, episode 16 is coming very soon, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.